Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for August 2nd. We're just going to see what comes up. Princess of Summer, gentle, sensitive, kind, inexperienced. A new relationship or emotional experience, invitation, invitations to social events, a compassionate friend you can share your concerns with. So this is emotional support or, you know, somebody new coming into your life. This is an offer of... Tender love and care. So that is the Page of Cups. So a message. A message is arriving. A message of love and support. Perhaps even an invitation. What do we have for August 2nd? Four of Swords reversed. So this extreme exhaustion, overwhelmed, isolated, frustrated. Mmm. Nine of Wands. Somebody is feeling very challenged. They are experiencing some major life challenges at this time. It's like trying to muster all the strength that you can to deal with this. So we have somebody here that is growing weary. They are probably going frustrated. You know, there's uh, we have a lot of inner strength that is needed on this day. There is some sort of challenge. Somebody may be offering emotional support because we got somebody here that is struggling. This is an invitation to a celebration perhaps or a gathering. This is a lack of teamwork. A decision has been made. Somebody has made a decision. No more confusion. No more illusion. A choice has been made. We're going to come back to that three of coins reversed. Six of Wands, moving. Judgment reversed. There's no chance. There's no chance. Some. There's no chance of reconciliation. There's. There's a need for forgiveness here. So yeah, there's a need for forgiveness. Hmm. Let me just bring this out. There we go. So this is somebody that is being recognized. There's been a lack of respect. Somebody was taken advantage of. They feel like they've been taken advantage of. And it feels like they're giving up. They're facing a very... Oh. This is a huge struggle. It's a huge... Uh, it's almost like it's debilitating. It's debilitating. It's it, We got somebody here that is very, very... 
on the verge, somebody is on the verge of giving up on a commitment or they have given up on a commitment. There's definite feeling of despair. I'm just being honest with you. We've got the three of swords. we got the four of swords. We have somebody here that is in a place of limbo, a, a place of suspension, resisting change, no longer working together. There's a lack of teamwork. There's a lack of respect. And this is like, now they're being recognized. This is painful. This is a painful release of some sort. It feels like somebody has been released from a commitment. The decision has been made. There's no chance of reconciliation. It's hard to accept. It is hard to accept. So we have somebody here whose heart is breaking or has been broken because there's no revival. The fool reversed. There's, there's, the, there's no starting over here. This person right here has found the confidence or needs to find the confidence to move on. So this person, this is a warrior. It feels as though this person has given up. has grown mentally exhausted to the point of, you know, frustration. I mean, extreme frustration, uh, illness. Yes, maybe even, you know, somebody has been like brought to their knees over some sort of decision that has been made that they cannot change. It's unchangeable. This person is not going to change their mind. There's no changing this person's mind. And there's a lack of acceptance here. So I feel like today is a day of reluctantly releasing or being released from a commitment that, you know... Somebody tried everything in their power to make it work out. You know, they really, 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 really tried to make it work out. But now it's a dead end. It's reached the end. This is the death of an idea. So I feel like we have somebody here that... is facing the challenge of releasing and accepting the decision that somebody has made and it's painful so it's a day of 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 sorrow i mean this is it this is sorrow This is not waking up. You, some, you know, there's, there's no chance. There's no uh, revival here. You know what I mean? There's no um, reconciliation. The decision's already been made, and it hurts. It hurts. So I mean, I, I mean that we just had the tower, right? The last two days. So this makes complete sense. It's the end. Liberation. This is breaking free. Liberation. It's the end of suffering. 
there's been a partnership here that has come to an end. Two people were on the same page. They weren't seeing eye to eye. And somebody has made a decision that they are not changing their mind. They have made, rejected. They have rejected. They have rejected an offer to reconcile. And now, you know... It's time to go in another direction. It is. It's. It is time to go in another direction. Knight of Cups. This is. This is. Uh, I want romance. I want love. I think that somebody ha was hoping for a reconciliation. They were offering love, and they got rejected. And now they're suffering. But we have this page of cups here. It's like there's another opportunity for emotional support. I feel like there's a there's somebody new. There's somebody new. There's a new opportunity here. Everything happens for a reason. You may not be aware that there's another opportunity for a relationship, but I feel like there is somebody arriving, there is somebody coming. With some sort of, you know, this is a loving gesture. This is somebody who is ready for a relationship. This is somebody that has love to offer. I feel like it's the end of suffering. I feel like there's an opportunity to come together in a union with somebody that is emotionally available. So I feel like there there has this is this is the end of the dead end. Do you know what I'm trying to say? This is progress. It's like there has been something that has ended. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I feel like we have somebody here that is finally realizing that there is somebody else, but they 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 have to realize it. They have to accept it. And they were lacking acceptance. But it's like now somebody is coming to offer emotional support for the ending that you have experienced. And this could turn into a new relationship. You know what I'm trying to say? Somebody has made a decision... To find, to, 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 to start a new relationship. There's no reconciliation. There's no chance of reconciliation. I'm going to have another relationship. But in order to have that other relationship, they have had to reject somebody else. Because this is rejection. So I feel like there's there's a rejection of one in the beginning of a new. It's the end of the dead end. We have a new partnership. A new union coming into focus. This could be the answer to your prayers. Somebody is breaking free. Leaving all the baggage behind. They've held on as long as they can. And they are coming into union with somebody. But before they do that, they have to release. They have to they have to, you know, break free from whatever it is that they have been hanging on to. 
There's no compromising with the other partnership. That person's not going to change their mind. The decision has been made. We have somebody here that has totally made a decision and they're sticking to it. I'm not going to work with this other person. And maybe they, they made that decision because they found the new relationship. Somebody is getting rejected. Somebody is absolutely getting rejected. And I think it's because there's a new relationship. But I also feel like there is emotional support for this person that is suffering. Okay? Because there's always two sides to a union. So I think that there is some sort of emotional support coming in from somebody. And it feels like this emotional support that this person offers could lead to a union. So the pain and suffering that somebody is experiencing is going to lead to a new partnership. That's what I see. So I feel like this is a day of reluctantly being released. It's like you're being released or you're accepting a release and confidently moving in a new direction. But there is some fear here. There's fear. There's fear of getting in another partnership. There's fear of working with anybody else. There's fear of being rejected again. Absolutely. There's fear of getting hurt again. So, anyway, I feel as though we have we have a we have a new relationship that is coming in. And I feel like it feels like this is coming in, you know, this person comes in to help. They come in to help soothe. They come in to help heal. They come in as a, you know, protector. They come in as, you know, I'll take care of you. You know, I'll, I will soothe you, whatever. And it turns into some sort of union. That's what I see. That's what I see. I, I, I feel like we have a new partnership here that comes after a loss. There is going to be a message. There's going to be a message that comes through. It's going to be a kind message. It's going to be a loving message. This message uh, could lead you in a new direction. My advice is to give this person a chance. Do not let the past hurts um, hold you back. Because whoever hurt you in the past, they weren't aware they weren't aware. It just wasn't meant to be. You didn't see eye to eye. This is an opportunity for love. That's what I see. Good luck.